It's War Dragon time. Hey guys, I am starting a new series called Q&A with RPW, where we will answer your questions and concerns and even correct any of the videos from the past. The first question comes from PC says, how do you see how many minute and lower level timers you have? I see some in the forge building when it comes to the 12, the three hour and the one hour timers, but not the lower levels. So how do you view all the timers that you have? Okay, thank you first of all for your compliment on my video, but let's first go over to the forge building so everyone can see what your question is all about. All right, so if we go into the forge building, we can actually forge and see how many we have of the 15, one hour, three hour, and 12 hour speed ups. What you can't see is the one hour, or I'm sorry, the one minute and the three minute speed ups that you usually collect as you're going about. Now the reason you can't see them in there is because you don't forge them. But there is a way. Number one, you can click on something that you're currently building, and this is gonna give you a way to see what you have, and then just push X to get out. And then you can also go over to your egg incubator and do the same, however, I don't have anything on incubation. So I wanna show you a third way, which is in your for, I mean, sorry, your research hall. If you click expedite, you don't have to use those rubies. It's gonna bring up timers to kinda of allow you to use those instead of the rubies, and this is another great way to see what you have. So that's the best way. I wish they did have a menu where you could go see your stuff, but there's your answer. Um, another person had reached out to me and showed me that I had completely missed this. I don't know how I did it. Apparently when I was editing and I brought in the new dragon to put in their information, I completely skipped over this text and left rejuvenate. But I want you to know that that first blue spell was actually supposed to be Ghostfire Wreath. I did say that in the video, but I didn't have it up there visually. So there's a correction for everyone. Um, another person had actually mentioned out in my comments that it's not easier to get him. And I did say easier and I apologize because it actually isn't. He's far more expensive. It'll be easier to get to his line, I think. But to actually get him and complete him, it's not. However, I think that there's going to be prizes just like any other dragon in between his eggs. But we shall see because it comes out today. Somebody else pointed out that Oksana is going to have portraits in her line as well. But I believe they're saying it's going to be her. Which is pretty cool because she is a really beautiful character. So if I'm understanding that correctly, whenever you go through and you collect her prizes, you should be able to get her as a portrait. All right, guys, so that is this week's questions and concerns. I hope that this helps clear up anything out of the air. And guys, I appreciate you looking out for me. I really do. So keep those comments coming. I don't find them offensive. Trust me. Anyways, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications. All right, guys, happy hunting.